Hey guys, so in today's video, we are going to be talking about best free drawing apps for iPad that you can directly download from the App Store. So let's just begin. So the first app in this list is this app called Drawing Desk. Now this app is not made for professional artists or professional digital artists. This app is pretty basic. But the reason why I chose this app is because this app has various categories built in one. So it has coloring desk, doodle desk, photo editing desk, kids desk and sketch desk all built in one. So you don't really have to download different apps for different things. So let's just check out sketch desk for now. So as I said, this software is pretty basic in terms of sketching and painting. They have pretty basic tools, few brushes, which are really cool. The icons are really, really cute. And they also have their size and opacity thing. And they have colors, they have ruler, they have eraser, and they have layers as well. Not much, but you can still, you know, play around with it. You can also use it for note making. So the next one on this list is this app called Infinite Painter. Now Infinite Painter is super close to Procreate. Now this has similar brush library as Procreate has. Not the exact same brushes but each and every brush set has a lot of brushes and all of the brushes are amazing and they also provide you with a lot of brush settings as well similar to the Procreate. This app also has a blending tool which a lot of free softwares do not provide and the blending tool library is also similar to the one we have in Procreate. They have all of the brushes in the blending tool and they have all of the settings that we usually see in Procreate. So yeah. So I was trying out the blending tool and let me tell you, the tool works really good. And I also noticed one thing when I was using this blend tool, the tool picked up the brush I was using to paint and it automatically selected the brush I was using to paint the color. So that's quite amazing. And you can also create your own brushes in this free software. They have similarly built up the eraser tool library similar to the one we have in Procreate. So for the eraser tool also you are getting so many brushes and you can also adjust the size and the flow of the brush. And then you have your color library and you can create your own palette, color palette, uh, which is again similar to Procreate and then you have a tool by which you can control the opacity and size of the brush. Then you have few more tools to it and it also has gradient tool which is amazing because Procreate doesn't have any gradient tool. So yeah, this software has a lot of tools for it to be free. So if you are a complete beginner and you're looking for a complete, you know, free software, but just as similar to Procreate, I think this software is the way to go. And also I forgot to mention, the software also has layers and the similar layer modes, similar layer styles, which is amazing. So yeah. So the next one on this list is obviously Adobe Fresco. Now this software is like a really mini version of Photoshop. Now they provide you really few amount of tools but all of the tools are sufficient in making a good digital art or digital painting. So again this software has a really good brush library and each brush set has a lot of brushes, a lot of good brushes and I'm not going to be going into details about each and every tool but I'm going to provide you with a good summary of it. So you can actually go ahead and check this software out on your own and explore all the tools that you like and that you don't like. So I like this software. The software has brushes, eraser obviously, selection tool, transform tool, and then uh, color picker tool, and then fill tool. And at the bottom you have some brush settings. 
not brush settings actually but whenever you uh, choose a tool a uh, mini setting bar right here as you can see opens up so yeah that is for each and every tool you select so when you pick up the brush tool the whole settings for the brush tool will open up down here so you can change the size of the brush you can change the opacity of it you can change the smoothing of the brush and also you can have your own brush settings as well which is quite amazing and then you have layers on the right hand side and every layer setting that you need like layer mask, layer mode and everything of that sort. And you can also change the name of your layer and the blend mode of the layer as well. You also get a ruler in the software as the software doesn't have any streamline. And you can also export your projects or you can just directly publish. So I think overall this software is amazing. Now the last one is Autodesk Sketchbook which is my favorite. They have a huge brush library with cute brush icons and they have all the brush settings that you need as a beginner. They also have the similar layer settings as we talked uh, you know, earlier in the video. They also have nice color palettes already built in and you can change the size of the brush by the side bars and also you can you know um, play with the opacity of the brush with the bar uh, you know at the bottom so yeah you also have a huge range of tools in the upper toolbar box you can also film a time-lapse video of your drawing by hitting that video icon and I think this app is you know this app is sufficient for any beginner even to this date I use this app that's how much I love this app so I highly recommend this app I actually have a few tutorials on sketchbook but still if you want me to do an in-depth tutorial on it I'm completely willing to do that and also if you want me to talk about in detail about every tool of any of the software that I showed you in this video just leave a comment down below and I really hope you guys enjoyed this mini video and do not forget to share with your friends and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel support my channel and I'll see you guys the next time.